Hello and welcome to another how to video. My name is Ditech, CTO of DVS, and welcome to the channel. Before you go any further, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, please make sure you do. While you're there, hit that little notification button and you'll be notified of all our weekly content. And for those of you that have subscribed and do comment and share, please continue to do so. Without you, this channel wouldn't be worth making. It is you guys that drive the content. So, what are we going to look at today? Really exciting, a brand new product from EasyViz. EasyViz is a product born from Hypevision. So it's an offshoot of their product. Really designed to make the consumer of the product really easy to interact with. Fits into a cost-effective solution, but also They've learned all the lessons from Hike Vision over the years, so you get world-class leading imagery at a really cost-effective price, easy to install, easy to configure, easy to use and interact with. If you're an installer and you want to offer your customer a cost-effective solution, um, because they may be on a tight budget, it may be a temporary solution to fix a problem, it may be rented or leased accommodation, and therefore you don't want to spend the time or the expense or the disruption to install a traditional wired CCTV system, then we do have the solution or answer for you. So this product is designed um, with that in mind, especially if you're using um, or have an application where you've only got Wi-Fi and you need a battery powered PT camera. This is effectively it. This new product, I'll just bring it up here, is the CS-HV8. It's a four megapixel PT camera that's battery powered. Battery life up to 210 days when it's fully charged and deployed. Again, that will depend on usage. Now, depending on how, ma how many times you activate it or view it via the app, that usage will dictate the runtime of this. But up to 200 days battery life. That is absolutely fantastic. So, what do we get in the box? I'm just gonna get my little Stanley knife and open this up. Brand new product from EasyViz, and thank you so much for sending this over, guys, so we can test it. Again, safety first. Try not to cut my uh, self with this Hike Vision handy pocket knife. Let's get rid of this wrapper. So, some of the standout features or functions is it works with the EasyViz app, as you can see, they're available for iOS and Android. The app is free and it's free to use. The great thing with this product is if you use uh, an SD card in most of the EasyViz products, either they've got built-in flash storage or they have a space for a SD memory card. If you do use that, you don't need to use the option for the cloud storage, which there is a cost. If you want to use the cloud storage, absolutely you can. There is a small fee attached to per device that you add to the cloud. If you want a free solution, just put the SD card in there or for those products that don't have an SD card but have the onboard flash memory. You don't have to pay that, therefore the app is free and the storage is free. So another great reason to choose this product. Now, some of the other functions and features on there. So it's up to 360 degrees panoramic view. It's battery operated, free local storage, as I've said. Active defense, so it's got live guard technology with a flashing sound and audio deterrent. Instant notification via the app, very easy to use and play back. Two-way talk. A lot of the products that have the active defense mechanism also allow live two-way talk. Uh, color night vision, like a color view technology effectively, and it's waterproof and weather resistant. So 340 degrees pan, 65 degrees tilt. Okay, what do you get in the box? So a couple of manuals, you need that QR code on a manual, that's how you add it to the app. The easiest thing to do is keep that QR code. There's 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi only, for those of you that um, are interested. If you've only got, or if you've got a router and it's only five gigahertz enabled, do log into the router and enable the 2.4 gigahertz. Most routers are dual and support both. Some extra manuals and an installation guide. And then we have the camera itself. So the camera itself, you can see the color view white light assembly there. It has that 65 degree tilt along with the pan option there. It is a fixed lens, four megapixel, uh, all in one bracket, so you can ceiling mount it or wall mount it, or you can do a bit of both in the corner. Um, super easy to use. It's got the chargeable port under here, so if you open it, rub it flat. I haven't got any nails, apologies. We'll get the Stanley knife out again then, shall we? 
So if you open up the little flap underneath here, that's where the USB uh, charger socket is underneath this weatherproof flap, along with the power button there. Put that back over. QR code is there to add it to the app, should you require, if you don't want to use the uh, QR code that's on the little certificate that comes with it. And again, it has got the microphone and speaker, speaker there underneath and a microphone hole for the mic for the two-way talk. Now, you also get an installation kit, so you get some screws and uh, some plugs, use your own fittings if you want. And you also do get a USB charger, like a generic smartphone charger, so you can plug it into here and then charge it up for deployment. Now, there will be some residual charge in this and we will use that just for testing. It is recommended that you do charge this fully by plugging this in, letting it charge for 24 hours overnight before deploying it. Um, but again, there will be some charge in there. To get the maximum runtime out of it, you do really want to do that. And again, nothing else in the box, just the prote protective foam, just checking. So there's our protective foam. And we've got the camera. Now the camera, uh, compared to a smartphone, so that's an iPhone 13 Pro. So again, sort of that size. Nice size. Um, it's got the easy vis branding on there. Now it weighs around, I'd say probably about a kilogram because of the battery inside it. Uh, and again, there's a little tab here which you can pull down and then remove the mounting bracket. It just simply slides out. So you can screw this on and then that slides into the position there. So you can mount this and then slide it in. Simply a tab to remove it there. Because it's battery powered, it needs to be easy, accessibly to remove so the customer can charge up and put it back on charge. It takes four to eight hours, depending on the charge level, to fully charge before you deploy it again. The one thing I would say with this, because it's battery powered, it's got integral Wi-Fi antenna built into it rather than the aerials that used to stick out on the older versions. But of course, you can remove this. So just be careful where this is fitted. Uh, if it is fitted on a public side of the property, you don't want it too low where somebody could press the button and then simply remove it. So you want to fit it out of, at least out of hand's reach, out of the way so it's not stolen easily. But again, it has got the active deterrence and tamper in there should you require that. But again, we're going to just quickly fit this onto one of our demo pods here and talk you through the process of adding it to the app and showing you how good this camera is. We're simply going to screw this back plate to one of the pods up here, fit the camera straight onto it like so, and then we're going to go through adding this to the app and then showing you the uh, features that this camera has with the two-way talk, active deterrence, pan tilt functionality, etc. So stay tuned while I do that. Quickly set this up uh, and we'll be back in a minute. Thanks. Okay, so we've opened up the EasyViz app, so we're simply going to add a new device to it. So I fitted the camera up onto one of the pods, as I've suggested. Top right-hand corner, we're going to click the Add button, Add Device, and we're going to add a camera, and we're going to scan that QR code. Like I said, it's as simple as that. Device is powered on, click Next, Start, Yep, Start, DVS up, Demo Room. It's, don't worry about that Wi-Fi, it changes after the video. Next, yeah, and you will hear the camera in the background as we go through the connection process on this. So device name, and change that. There we go, you can hear it in the background. Uh, there we go. Just waiting for this to add, you can hear it in the background, it's just finishing. And there we go. So I can save the device QR code, audio is on, daylight saving is correct. I'm going to untick this... Uh, trial down here i don't want it to do a trial now click next uh this this device has an inbuilt 32 gigabyte uh, flash memory like i was talking about just so everyone can understand that a uh, new password so you've got to create a new password um i'll do that okay so i set the password now i just turned it off while i set that password it tells you to remove the film from the camera which we did at the beginning before i installed it click next 
Different options here, power plugged in, so I can keep the, ca the camera recording by plugging it into power permanently, so that's an option for you. High performance, one video clip is longer but saves less power. Power saving, one video clip is shorter and saves no power. Super power saving mode, and we'll configure it. Um, we're going to leave it in power saving mode. Super power saving mode is where you'll get the longest, which is the 210 days. As you go up through the power, you will get less uh, operating days because obviously you're using more power. We'll just use the standard... Um, power saving mode but based on your application or your need you can choose one of those working modes detection sensitivity so higher sensitivity farther detectable distance now you can leave it at default or you can start debugging to start debugging and walk to the camera view when the voice prompt is heard the target the device detects the target so if i go start debugging so I'm about four meters away from the camera now. And if I, there you go, you can hear that. That's working fine. So I'll say stop testing. So I'm going to leave it at that distance there or that sensitivity, but I could increase, there you go. I could increase or decrease that depending again on the distance and application. So it's a really simple process to actually walk through and to set and test the sensitivity. Next step. Now we're done. So I'm going to, end that i don't need that more devices this is down at the bottom here this hp8 pt camera battery so i'm going to open this up is and you can see the live view so if i if i tilt the phone tilt it'll actually phone, go it'll actually into actually landscape, mode, landscape like mode like that hello hello um but if i walk so up to the camera it is, it is a four megapixel sensor God, my hair needs a bit of uh, work on it, doesn't it? Um, but you can see we're in our demo room here now, and you can see all the, well, this is the event that's come through. So if I open this event, it will actually play the event where I moved when I was doing the testing. And then I can download that, speed up, save it, etc. So it's a super simple process to this. If I want to go back to live view, just simply press live. At the bottom of the screen, I got a snapshot, so I could take a snapshot, or I can record that video clip directly to my phone. Again, if I want to go to live, press live and it'll go back to live. Top right hand corner, you can see the state of the battery. It's about 50% full. Um, that's a good indicator of how that battery is performing. Again, we're still in my demo room. If I turn it up, hello. Uh, I can do at the bottom of the screen, I've got a snapshot record PTZ. So if I open up PTZ control, you can see it'll go all the way around and then it'll stop. It's not continual not rotation. rotation. If I go the other way, now depending on how, how high you put it, I can look all the way down effectively and I can look all the way up effectively. Depending on how high you fit it, obviously the, the plane of view will be altered depending on that. So I turned all the lights off in there. It is a day night image. Uh, with the white light uh, there's other products with white light in there so it does enhance the image but it just goes to show how good this camera is when there's a little bit of light the built-in white light on the camera will of course provide the additional light needed to give you that beautiful color image at night so i'm going to walk into the uh, office or to the demo room now and you'll see it activate the first thing you'll see is it'll put a red box around me it'll shout at me that custom message we uploaded and then it'll start to track me now the wi-fi is a little bit poor in there so i've turned off on the 4G, so hopefully this works. Uh, uh, the area. You can see it's trying to track me there. Uh, the area. There you go. And that, folks. Uh, the area. And that, friends, is it. So if I walk up to the camera. Uh, the area. Yeah, it's died a bit. There we go. And that is the EasyViz camera, everyone. The Wi-Fi, and then I'm over here, look, and it's still tracking me. So yeah, there we go. Um, that's the EasyViz camera, battery-powered PT uh, with human tracking. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please do watch out for our weekly content. More of this next week. If you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Look forward to seeing your results. Have a nice day.